Hello beautiful people, my name is Jane and welcome back to my channel. So somebody asked me a question and that question is the reason why I'm making this video. The question was, are you dating somebody or are you dating potential? And you know, I opened my mouth to speak but nothing came out. So that got me thinking, right? That got me thinking, thinking, you know, extensively about this question because I couldn't give an answer. That's how I came about this video. I want to ask you now, either you're watching me, are you dating a person or are you dating potentials? Are you dating who they can be, who you believe they can be at the long run? Or are you dating them as they are now? As they are now, are they okay for you? Are they perfect for you? Are they what you've always wanted? Or are you dating who they could be? Because you've seen how they are now and you believe, you know, the more time goes by, the more he understands this or she understands this and she gets to know this and she gets to have this, then she's going to be like this. Or are you dating somebody now because you look at them every day and they are what you want? Answer that to yourself. But the whole point of this video is dating somebody because of the potentials, because of the promise they should, because of what they could be is good. Because it means... That's that's actually a form of love. It means you, you believe in them enough to believe that they will get better. You believe in them enough to believe that they are not what they are right now, but they have the they have the capacity to be more. So for me, that's a form of love. That's a form of a very strong love towards somebody, even if you don't, you know, say these things. But the truth is, at the end of the day, the truth is, it's not all expectations you have that will be met. And if you don't make peace with the fact that your expectations of this person, what they could be, might never happen, you might get your heart broken at some point. So the question of the day is, look at the person that you're with and ask yourself, if this is all I'm ever going to get, if this is all you are, are you enough for me? And ask yourself, if this is all I have to get, if this is all I am, flaws and all, am I enough for this person? Would you still love me? Might not be ideal, might not be the sweetest thing to do, but it kind of like puts things in perspective. I mean, we're all working towards, you know, getting better, being better, learning new things, changing the things that don't fit, picking up the things that actually fit, handing it, and then getting better, becoming better lovers, better partners, better friends, better... That's the whole point. At least that's what I believe. That's the whole point of relationship, friends, and all that. But the truth is, you also need to manage your expectations in relationships, in friendships, in partnerships. You need to manage your expectations because that's your, um, that's your insurance. That's you protecting yourself. Because most times we don't get heartbroken because of what well, we already know. Because we do know a lot. Even though most times we don't blind eye to a lot of things. But we get heartbroken because our expectations were not met. The things that we expected, the things that we thought, the things that we believed, the things that we wanted, we did not get at the end of the day. So it's good to be in the moment, live in the moment. But if it's something serious that is going somewhere, that you want it to go somewhere, then you need to actually be honest to yourself. Even though I know you might not want to, <laughs> you might not want to, because I mean, right now it's so beautiful, right now it's so okay, but I'm just trying to save you the long run, the, you know, pain, the long run, both. but if you look at the person that, the good news, the best part of this video is that if you look at the person that you're with right now, the way they are now, let's forget what they can be tomorrow, you look at them, the way they are right now, flaws and all, you know, it's whatever, whatever it is that they're doing, you know, in front of you right now. And you look at them and you know within you that they are enough. If this is what you get for the rest of your life, you're happy. And you hit the jackpot. That's just the truth. You are where you are meant to be. You are with the person that you're meant to be. Because potential is good. You know, that hope for better is great. But the truth is... Not all that, all those expectations will be met. And you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to look at things and say, okay, this is okay, fine. Then it's good for me. Be content. Because when you're content, there are a lot of things contentment will protect you from in relationships, in marriage. 
in partnerships and friendship there are so many things that contentment will protect you from well this one i know she's mad but she's my best friend so there's nothing she does tomorrow that will surprise me there are things that i actually expect her to do so when she does those things i know where to meet her i know how to go about it because i've accepted that this is who she is and i still love her regardless right so this goes a long way i don't know whether this is me rambling i, I hope not but I hope that this resonates with you to look at things objectively, look at things in total. I don't know the word, but you get what I'm trying to say. So, so potential and truth is nobody would ever be perfect. That's just the truth. Nobody would ever be 100. But you as a person, you have things on your list that you can't just cross out that's just the thing that, that's just the truth there are things on your list that mean so much to you that these are no no if these things are not mess you're not happy right so you need those are the things that you need to be looking at when you're making choices decisions and expect and having expectations because those are the things that would actually really break your heart if they're not met that's why you need to put them you know in perspective and put them put the right amount of priority on them and not just, you know, be doing things out of expectations. Ah, I hope so. I pray so. Ah, please, oh, uh, ah, my God's grace. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to say that doesn't work or that works or any of those things. But what I'm saying is that be honest with yourself. Even though those things are good, hoping, praying, believing, and expecting. Those things are good. Those things are great. But thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being here. Please check out some of my other videos and give this video a like and share it with your friends. Share it with other people you feel like you should see it. And I will see you in my next video.